Today we're going to be taking a look at using Chirp to program a Baofeng UV5R. All you need is a programming cable, your Baofeng, and a PC computer like we're going to be using today. Uh, let's dive in. All right, so we're going to start off by downloading the Chirp software. I have put the link in the description below. Uh, chirpmyradio.com, pretty easy to remember. We're at the home page here. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right into this. I think all of these links, uh, I do want to go to the Windows one. Uh, this is an advertisement. Okay, Chirp downloads. Let's go Chirp next installer. I'm just going to go with the big green one here. We are downloaded. It's going to open it right up. Agree to take over. Next, read it if you'd like, I agree. I'm just gonna install this to the C drive, just the standard uh, uh, location. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, so if it doesn't work for you, uh, if you put it somewhere on a thumb drive or something and it doesn't work for you, don't comment below about it. Here we go, install. And we're gonna run, simple as that. Pretty, pretty quick install. Welcome to Chirp. Opening a file, downloading a radio. So. Now we are going to go back over to our radio. All right, so on the radio itself, here we go. Uh, pop that guy open, that's your speaker mic port and the Baofeng cable. I'm gonna make a mention of this cable. Um, these cables can be faulty. I've heard lots of re reports that uh, the cables in them aren't necessarily always compatible with uh, uh, different Windows versions, things like that, uh, maybe different manufacturers of cables, because uh, as we know, Baofeng is manufactured by diver many different companies and, and uh, things like that. So uh, I'm going to start off by plugging this in. It's kind of difficult to do watching it through the screen of the phone, so... Do that, and then I'm going to plug the other end into my PC computer. Probably hear the ding in the background. So there we are. Now, on the computer itself, we're going to follow some instructions. So, we're going to go to radio, download from radio. It's going to give us a few different things. Uh, let's go USB serial. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess this one. We'll try first. Uh, Baofeng is a B. Baofeng. And it is a UV5R. Right there. UV5R. Simple. It needs to release new versions of firmware with obscure hard track changes. This driver may not work with your device thus far. Best. Um, sounds pretty good to me. Do not prompt again. Okay. So. We're going to click OK. And then it's going to give us some instructions. Turn radio off, connect cable mic to speaker. We've already done that. Make sure connector is firmly connected. So make sure that connector firmly connected in there. And then turn radio volume, turn radio on volume may need to be set to 100%. Make sure that the radio is tuned to a channel with no activity. Um, so this is just a, a factory reset Baofeng. So we have, should be nothing on here. Maybe there's one channel uh, programmed in. So uh, I'm going to click, I'm not going to click the prompt because I want that to come up every time just to remind me. Click OK. So let's see, are we working? Yep, looks like it's working. So the little lights flashing, things appear to be happening. All right, there we are. So two meter call, that's not the proper two meter call frequency for my area, but now we've read from the radio. So we have uh, the, the base file to start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type one uh, forty six five two zero and put a decimal place in there and then tab over to the next one. So sometimes these, these cells tab over and it makes sure that it saves in there. Um, uh, we're going to see what we can find for more repeaters in this area. See, we're going to use repeater book. So query source, repeater book, for Canada, British Columbia, because that's where I'm at. We're going to go Nanaimo. We're going to go only certain bands. We go 2 meter and 70 centimeter because that's uh, all this radio is capable of. 
We're going to only certain modes. We're going to go FM because we, uh, you know, there's no other types of digital modes that this is can, capable of. Uh, there we go. And then we're just going to click OK. Ah, so there's a couple there. Uh, this one I am familiar with and this one I am familiar with. So we're going to grab those two and actually this lost lake as well. So this, uh, these radiate or these we will copy from here. We'll go over here. We will paste. Bam, just like that. And uh, what we can also do, we can go uh, radioreference.com. Oh, you need an account for that one. So we can, uh, you can set up an account if you like, and you can, uh, there's all sorts of uh, e-com uh, frequencies that you can look up using radio reference. So that's something you can explore on your own once, once you get the basics down. But anyways, we've got a few, uh, a few different frequencies programmed in different uh, repeaters. Now what we're going to do next step to send it to the radio, we're going to go radio, upload to radio. So before we downloaded from the radio to get the file here, and now we're going to go upload to radio. So we're going to make sure this is still firmly plugged in. Volume is all the way up. And we're going to click upload to radio. So same COM port. Uh, now this may be different on your computer. Again, it may be different number. Um, you'll have to go through and figure out which one it works on. And click OK. And same instructions before, turn radio off, connected. We already are connected. We're going to leave it connected. Okay, let's see. So green light means it is receiving the data from the computer. Doesn't take too long at all. The more, the more entries you have, the longer it does take. But it's worth it. There we go. So, radio is going to restart itself. Look at that, right on to 146520, which is uh, zero, as you see, in chirp, as well as on the radio. So we're going to go up to that 145430. That's the uh, number one that I put in. Look at that, they're all working. And I believe someone is, maybe there's something coming in on that one. Actually, I think that's interference from the uh, my monitor. Anyways, we'll close that off. But that is how we would program uh, simple entries into a Baofeng UV5R. Um, there's lots of other things you can program in here, different frequencies uh, for your local uh, scanning. Um, as far as the uh, UV5R itself, there's lots of different versions. Some of them will allow you to transmit on other bands, uh, other frequencies that you maybe shouldn't be. Um, so just make sure you are licensed for the uh, bands that you are transmitting on or just using it as a scanner because this guy is a great uh, scanner. You can program lots of different things, uh, lots of different versions of these, obviously. Um, but that is the basics on how you program a UV5R. Uh, there is lots of other radios that this is pretty much the exact same process for. Uh, you just have to have the right cable and uh, the right version of Chirp. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if this worked for you, leave a comment below. If it didn't work for you, leave a comment below. Maybe I'll try to help you out. Um, if it doesn't work for you, the work, the first thing I'm going to tell you, um, try a different cable because these cables, like I was saying before, there is lots of uh, reports of these things not working, um, you know, not being compatible with certain computers or not being compatible with certain devices. Try a different USB port, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, yeah, if you need any other help, please just leave a comment below.